this is dogwood. Young fella gave me this a couple of months ago and he thought that possibly it would look good on a pen. So I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to cut it up into into the right lengths. I'm going to have to dry it in the oven because it feels kind of heavy yet. And I imagine that when I do that it's probably going to crack worse than it already is. So that means I'm probably going to have to do the cactus juice thing which just sort of adds to the fun. Now these videos are going to be probably a little bit shorter than what you're used to. Uh, and the reason for that is because my wife has Alzheimer's, as a lot of you know, and it's getting worse. She's at the place now where she can't really do much for herself, so I have to keep running upstairs and sort of help her with different things. And uh, so the videos are going to be rather short because I'm spending a lot less time down here in my workshop. Not complaining, that's life. Anyway, let's uh, cut this stuff up here and uh, see what we can do. And uh, hopefully this is going to work. Oh, by the way, I laid this pen out. And at first I couldn't figure out how it goes together. But now I've got it figured out. So uh, at first I thought it was a faulty kit. Uh, but it was me that was faulty. <laughs> Here we go. Now, I was pretty sure these two brass tubes were exactly the same size, but I thought I'd better check because I've been fooled before on pen kit parts. I want to cut the end of this stick off so I can see how far up those cracks go. And as you can see, they don't go very far. Normally what I do when I'm cutting the length of my blank is I make it almost a quarter of an inch longer than the overall length of the brass tube. However, this time I'm going to make it closer to half an inch longer. And the reason being is I'm almost sure that these pieces are going to crack once I put them in the oven. And what's going to happen is if there's cracks, when I take them out of the cactus juice, the cactus juice will drain out of the crack before I have a chance to wrap the uh, tin foil up. You'll see what I'm talking about later. Anyway, that's the plan. Now I just know I'm going to get comments from people saying that they were scared I was going to cut my fingers on the blade. Well, you know what I do? I just shut my eyes and then I can't see what I'm doing. And I don't get scared at all. Okay, I hope you know I'm kidding. If you're new into woodworking, don't do that. Okay, so this little scale is very sensitive. It'll weigh to within one-tenth of a gram. And I'm weighing these things one after the other, and they're all practically the same weight to within a tenth of a gram of each other. And I'm thinking, okay, there's got to be something wrong with this little scale. So I got out my other scale, which isn't quite as accurate. Well, I guess it's accurate, but it won't weigh to within a tenth. And sure enough, they're all the same. Now, you know, I couldn't recut these things again that close no matter how hard I tried. What a coincidence. Last night here in Winnipeg it went to minus 32 and tonight I'm going to be using the oven all night at about 300 degrees to dry out these little pieces of wood. And the oven being on means that my furnace is going to be running less and I think the one is going to just sort of cancel out the other. I'm probably going to be able to dry these things for nothing. Then the reason for that is because here in Manitoba electricity is dirt cheap. In fact, a lot of people heat their homes strictly with electricity. Anyway. And like I've said before in my videos, we'll see what we've got in the morning. <laughs> 